Accessibility, it's more than just a ramp. Yes, it's true that ramps are becoming part of everyday life in many public places. This is a good thing, but accessibility is about so much more. In North Dakota, one out of six adults has a disability of some kind, physical, vision, hearing, speech, emotional, or intellectual. People with disabilities often encounter roadblocks at hospitals and clinics. These roadblocks are seldom intentional, but they are very real. They can include architecture, equipment, communication, and our expectations and attitudes. Here are just a few things to think about when providing health care to people who have disabilities. In the intake area, are your countertops low enough to accommodate people with and without disabilities? Do you provide various ways for people to complete forms confidentially? Do you provide a sign language interpreter for patients with hearing impairment? Do you have technology that enables you to talk to them on the phone? Is the language on printed information simple, clear, and free of medical jargon? Is the print reasonably large? Do your scheduling policies accommodate patients who may require a longer than scheduled appointment or need to be seen immediately? Does your facility welcome service animals? And do you speak directly to the patient with the disability rather than bypassing the patient and talking to the support person accompanying the patient? The more you think about how to make your hospital or clinic accessible to everyone, the more good ideas you'll get. The principles of universal design are great sources of ideas for accessibility. Following these principles helps ensure that a service, piece of equipment, or space is usable by all people. For instance, universal design principles say that everyone, with or without a disability, should have the same or equal access to services, and that equipment should be designed so that different people can use it in different ways. Equipment, signs, and instruction should be obvious even to people who can't read. Finally, people should be able to get information in a number of ways and should not be asked to do things that require a lot of physical effort. This video gives a quick glimpse of how accessibility is more than just a ramp. If you've seen anything here that you'd like to know more about, please contact a member of the North Dakota Disability Health Project at the North Dakota Center for Persons with Disabilities.